currently on the road to 7,000 subscribers. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated if you could take one second to drop a sub on the channel. Enjoy the rest of the video. Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy, No Limit Dots here, back with another video. But before we get into today's video, I just want to remind you all out there, the all are kings and queens. And I hope you all having a very, very blessed day. And in today's video, I'm here to bring you guys the best prime replica version of Damian Lillard. If you guys didn't hear the news, if you guys are living under a rock at this point, you don't got Twitter, you don't got no social medias, Damian Lillard has been traded to the Milwaukee, why did I say like that, Milwaukee Bucks. Um, he's going to be partnering up with Giannis, and I, honestly, as a longtime Dame fan, as you got to respect the man's loyalty. He, he, he tried his best. He really did to, to, to pull it off in Portland, man. He gave him every opportunity, every chance, right? And they just couldn't put together a roster. They end up drafting Scoot Henderson. They already got Afrony Simmons. It was, his, he, it was his time to move on. And I can't, I'm so happy. Giannis is one of the most lovable like guys in the league, man. Like, you can't hate on Giannis, right? Giannis gets a Dane. Like two guys that, that you just you gotta root for, bro. Even if you're not a fan of the Bucks, those are two guys that you're always rooting for in the NBA. And I'm just that's crazy, bro. I'm like, let me know if you guys think they're gonna end up winning a championship. I think for sure, as long as it, I think the Bucks would have won the last two years, also if it wasn't for injuries, uh, with Middleton going down, Giannis going down here and there, uh, missing some games. If they stay healthy, I. The, the, the Suns don't stand a chance. I'll tell you that much. If you think the Suns are going to win it, they don't stand a chance. But let's go ahead, get into the Dame build. We're going to be 6'2, 168 pounds, 6 foot 5 wingspan. This is also currently the point guard build that I am using while playing Rec, while playing Pro Am, ranked in Pro Am matchups as well. I'm playing using this build at the highest possible level. Um, so you guys already know this build is going to be very, very good. To start off, we're going to go with an 84 driving dunk, <clears throat> excuse me, 84 driving dunk on this build, which is going to unlock the Anthony Edwards dunk package. Uh, that and athletic off one are the two best dunk packages in the game. For athletic off one, all you're going to need is a 75 driving dunk and a 55 vertical. Um, so if you would like to lower your driving dunk so you could put it to other things, that is going to be, uh, that's fine. You could most definitely do that. But for me, I like the 84 drive dunk just to know that I could dunk the rock, right? Uh, then your three ball on this build. This is a replica Damian Lillard build. You got to be able to shoot from Dame range, bro. It's, it's Dame time with the 96 three ball. You get yourself that gold limitless range. I know the shooting has been tweaked so many times, it feels like. But eventually gold in this range as as almost every year most of the time gold badges in general are the sweet spot the best value for your badge and your remaining azure points right so moving into the free throw uh, we'll do the free throw later right but the pass accuracy let's get into the pass accuracy you're gonna end up having an 87 pass act. And usually when i do these videos i like to talk about these player stats so let me pull up damon lord stats and give you guys some specifics and maybe some context why I'm putting attributes where I am putting them to. Hold on, let me pull this up. So Dame over his career has averaged 25.2 points per game. He's coming off a career high averaging 32.2 in his 32-year season. Like, that is crazy. For his career, he's shooting from the three ball 37.2. Usually when shooters are shooting 37% from three in their, in their career averages, I don't put the three ball as high as 96. But I think the only two NBA player replica builds that should have a 96 three ball is Damian Lillard and Steph Curry. I wouldn't even put Clay up there. I would put Clay at 92. I know Clay's a knockdown shooter, right? But he's more catch and shoot. Like he ain't really shooting from limitless like that. Like like Damian and, and Steph are. They're in a league of their own, right? So 87 pass it because for Dame's career he's averaging seven assists per game. I think that I think that warrants an 87 pass sack. Then the ball handler, you're gonna put this up to a 92. You're gonna unlock every single dribble move, every single dribble animation in this game, besides the Steve Francis size up escape. I know 
Uh, last year it was by far the best. This year it's not. It's still the best, but it's not. It's not by far. It, it's still the best. Not by far though. Okay. Your speedo ball. You're gonna want to put this up to a 90 speedo ball to ensure yourself getting that Kyrie uh, dribble style. But guys, as always, you know I go over all the animations at the end of the video. So let me just get it. Let me just go ahead and give you guys the rest of the attributes. So the acceleration on this build is going to end up being a 93 acceleration, and then you're gonna put the rest on timeout. This is the rest of go on stamina. Where'd I mess up? I messed up somewhere. Look at me. I'm always, I'm always messing these things up, man. Always. Every time. All right, guys. I realized my mistake. So the driving dunk is going to be an 82. All you need is an 82 driving dunk, 63 vertical. The acceleration is going to end up being a 93, like I said before, 93 excel. And then your stamina, you could put this up to a 99 stamina. And then go ahead and feel free to throw the rest of it on free throw, giving you a 78 free throw. But you could also hold on. Might maybe put the acceleration to 92. And then what, what could we get off that? We could we could get gold dimer and, and gold relay pass. So let's put the accelerator to 92 and get that pass back to 89. And you see, you got like an extra, like it's literally gonna be one point. So throw that on defense and rebounding to 27 to help out your boys on the boards. Let's go ahead and see what the shades of this player is going to be. We get a rocket, a blazer, and a king. I already know it's gonna be Kenny, Dame, and D Fox. That's a very common three shades type of thing. And we are a playmaking three level threat. Let's go ahead and choose our team and show you guys the jump shot, the animations. Cause like I always, guys, I always like to tell you the build is 50% animations are 25 percent right and then so the last 25 percent to becoming a great 2k player is going to end up being your stick skill your iq but guys don't don't focus on coming out here and dominating you know we're, we're still only like two weeks into 2k it's still very early just try to get a little bit better each and every day so let's go ahead and get into the animations i'll show you guys the jump shot that i'm using currently um, I did change, I did tweak it a little. So the base, no matter what, Steph Curry. Go ahead, throw on Steph Curry base. Then your two releases, release one is going to be Darius Garland, and release two is going to end up being Oscar Robertson. Where is he at, Oscar Robertson? He's here. All right, so last year, uh, the main thing people used was Kevin Porter Jr. base, which was insanely fast. So I always had Oscar on 80%, Garland on 20 I have since changed it to going 60% Oscar, 40% Garland. That That's my new jump shot with Steph Curry. It, it makes it quicker. It makes it quicker. But if you want it a little slower, you could go to 80 Oscar, 60 Gar or 80 Oscar, 20 Garland. But let's go ahead and move into all the gameplay animations. For dribble pull up, I have no, I've been rocking normal two for a while now. Obviously, when you hit starter three, you want to throw on Trey Young. I'm gonna look into. I'm gonna look into other fades. I'm getting a little, uh, a little suspect. The normal two is getting a little on fraud watch. Okay, fraud watch. But uh, we're gonna go spin jumper, Trey Young, hop jumper, Steph Curry, uh, post hop shot, Kobe motion style, elite. Then no pass style. I don't care how high your pass act is. Do not put a pass style on. Trust me, I average like even in matchups, bro. I'm averaging like 14 assists a game, bro. Uh, your size up. You're gonna throw on Trey Young your escape moves i've heard kemba I, I gotta test out kemba because i've been hearing a lot of good things about kemba but i use trey young for now i use trey young then your crossover you're gonna throw on james harden behind the back jamal murray your hesitation ja morant and then your step back you could either go these three steph curry john wall or james harden i've been going between john wall and james harden i really ah, I don't know, man. I really don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I got. I got to do more testing against, um, you know, the, the matchups and leagues like that for, you know, really high competition pro am. I was starting with John Wall, but I was kind of leaning more towards James Harden. I tried it, but I'll, I'll do more testing on that to give you guys the one hundred percent short answer. But guys, that is going to be end up being the prime replica Damian Lillard build in NBA 2K24. If you did overall enjoy the build video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And it's been your boy, No Limit Dots, and I'm out. Peace.